हाय फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो सो इस वीडियो में हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे एन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट मैपिंग सो हेयर वी आर हैविंग सोर्स एज एम्प्लॉज टेबल विच इज प्रेजेंट इन स्नो फ्लेक एंड सिमिलरली वी आर हैविंग टू टारगेट्स एंड टारगेट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन आवर स्नो फ्लेक डेटा बेस नाउ सपोज आवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू लोड इवेन नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स इन वन टेबल एंड ऑड नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स इन another table okay so how we can achieve this thing so what we have done here if you see here what we have taken here we have taken source so uh, if i click on the first let me click on this mapping if you click on this screen you will see i have kept name of my mapping is m underscore sf sf underscore even underscore odd okay now if you click on this thing so it will show you your source okay now slowly if you see source so we have taken source from uh, snowflake and uh, in snowflake if you see here i have selected uh, source as employees table okay so now what i have done i have connected this source with expression okay now whenever i have connected this source with expression transformations so what we will do we will connect all the source column with our expression along with that what we will do we will connect one sequence transformation okay with our expression transformation okay so if you see here what we have done here uh, let me go to expression then in expression let me click on this expression so uh, first let me go to incoming fields so we are having all these incoming fields so all these incoming fields are related to my source employees table along with that we are having two more incoming fields the name is current well and another one is next well okay so these two fields are coming from sequence transformation okay and rest of the fields are coming from my employees table okay now let me go to expression in expression what we have done so in expression we have added a new column okay this column is our output field okay this is our output field and and it's a string type okay now uh, what condition we have put it here if next well mod of next well equal to 2 then it is even else it is odd and then we have validated this thing it is fine okay so these two things mainly we have done after that we have put a router okay inside the router we have uh, provided two groups okay one group will capture our uh, output flag equal to even and another group will capture output flag equal odd and after that we have added even into one uh, one target and odd into another target if you see here we are having target name so targets if you see here we have taken employees a target okay this is our field mapping here in our field mapping we have mapped all these things okay so i haven't mapped this output field because no need to ca capture these things at our target columns okay that's why i haven't captured i have just ca captured only main records okay so same thing i have done in our another target my, my another target table is our emp underscore tgt underscore zero one and both are present in our uh, snowflake environment okay tgt underscore employee code zero one okay let me save this mapping and after that by clicking on this uh, very date button you can also validate your mapping so map our mapping is valid now let me run this mapping so in this way you would see your mapping is running now you can go and click the same in your my jobs it is running right now so parallelly what we i will show you till the time it is running let me go to that mapping again so in in this mapping i have used one sequence transformation okay so in if i compare this sequence transformation with uh, sequence transformation in power center so in power center you cannot add uh, any incoming port in sequence transformation okay but if you see here in uh, iacs if you if you are using any sequence tra transformation so by default if you use this uh, 
if you, uh, you you need to disable this option disable incoming fields if you are not disabling this field in iacs so it will not allow you to directly use sequence tra transformation out of the pipeline so that's why i have used this option disable incoming fields so that it will it will allow you to use directly this sequence transformation okay if you are uh, using direct sequence transformation it will ask you to add one incoming field that's why in iacs we need to disable this field in case it is not required okay so this is the one difference between power center and iacs for sequence transformation okay let me see if it is running right now i think it has been almost loaded parallelly let me check my tables if it has been loaded oh i think it is a bit loaded So it is showing 107 records has been processed i hope it has been loaded right now yeah so in snowflake if you see it is actually showing 53 records has been loaded into first table and in another table if you see 54 records so overall 57 records has been processed and loaded into my target table so th so this is all about our uh, mapping to load even an odd number of records from here if you want to so see you will click from source it has captured 107 records and from target it has loaded 53 and 54 records okay from here you can download session log and see logs also thank you